Now, of course, the race for 2020 this morning. Another candidate is dropping out. Montana Governor Steve Bullock now joins the 12 others who have withdrawn so far. But the Democratic field, field still remains very crowded. 16 are still in the race. And now the top contenders are barnstorming across Iowa with just a few weeks left before the first big test there. Our Eva Pilgrim is there. And Eva, Joe Biden is hoping to get a boost with a new bus tour with an unusual but very classic Biden name. That's right, Mary. Joe Biden's launching his biggest push yet here in Iowa with this right here, the bus. He is calling it the No Malarkey Bus Tour. And the former vice president says he came here because he knows he has to show up in order to earn votes. And that's what we're seeing from a lot of candidates here as they try to get face time with voters. This morning, the battle for Iowa. With just nine weeks until the Iowa caucuses, the Democratic candidates out in full force. Former Vice President Joe Biden and Senator Elizabeth Warren have been leading in Iowa, but the latest polling in the Hawkeye state shows the competition heating up. The most recent Des Moines Register poll putting Mayor Pete Buttigieg on top. Andrew Yang. Bernie Sanders. Joe Biden. This as voters are being bombarded with the candidates' pitches. Over 5,000 ads airing just this week, including this Buttigieg ad about limiting tuition-free college. We should move to make college affordable for everyone. There are some voices saying, well, that, that doesn't count unless you go even further, unless it's free even for, for the kids and millionaires. But I only want to make promises that we can keep. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, a Bernie Sanders supporter, slamming the new Iowa frontrunner, tweeting, this is a GOP talking point used to dismantle public systems, and it's sad to see a Dem candidate adopt it. Meanwhile, Biden kicking off an eight-day, 18-county, 800-mile road trip across the state. The no malarkey bus tour making stops in many rural communities. We're going to win this race. We're going to beat Donald Trump. And I promise you, we're going to change America. And Warren trying a new campaign tactic. At a town hall, she took questions from the crowd after speaking for just eight minutes. I was wondering if there was ever a time in your life where somebody you really looked up to um, maybe didn't accept you as much. Leading to this emotional moment with a young voter. You've got to take care of yourself first and do this. Give me a hug. And this morning, some of those candidates are feeling the pressure with less than two weeks to qualify. Just six of those 16 candidates in the crowded field of Democratic hopefuls have made the cut for the next debate. Mary. Eva, thank you. It is going to be quite the sprint over these next few weeks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.